Welcome, this is the Remember Me Any Percent Episode 7 Part 2 Guide, the final part of Episode 7. To start out, you're just going to keep running all the way to the door at the end. Just try to get there as fast as possible. Now, once you open the gate, what you're going to need to do is jump as soon as you get to the black line here. I've highlighted it in red. If you jump too early, she won't get stuck in the air. If you jump too late, you won't even really be able to jump. The purpose is to jump around this point here so you get stuck in midair as the cutscene begins. And getting stuck in midair here is what triggers the door to stay open. As you can see, whenever this plays out, the door will stay open and this will allow us to run back through. So as soon as the cutscene is over, just run straight back through the gate. And as soon as you're on this side and have your camera rotated properly, you're going to want to jump to the pad down below. The current issues with this is sometimes the pad can insta-kill you. For whatever reason, the zone will still be a kill zone on the pad, which it shouldn't be, but sometimes it can. Unsure of why at the moment, but it is kind of rare for that to happen. And the second one is sometimes no one will just roll off and not bother to grab the ledge, which is also probably even more rare than the kill zone being on the pad, but it does happen. It can happen. Um, still unsure of a why, but both of those are extremely rare to see. And the next part is going to be getting over to the next pad and aligning Nolan's head up with the angle of the design on the floor when it starts slanting down. Kind of like angle her to face with her head kind of right into that section um, little nook where the design goes slanted down and then straight across. This puts her at an angle where it's most likely to trigger the checkpoint. You can miss it sometimes. It's extremely precise. So I would recommend practicing it a bit and getting a feel for where you like jumping from. If you just run and just jump randomly, it's like 90% chance you're not going to get the checkpoint here. Uh, but angling this up, finding the little sweet spot and getting used to it and just jumping over in that direction will get it. And you can tell if you got it pretty fast because the loading screen after she dies will be quite long if you didn't get it and quite fast if you did. And of course the final part of this, just do an air walk onto the ledge in front of us. You have to make sure not to jump close to the edge. Uh, give her a foot or two back away from the edge before you jump and you need to trigger the air walk kind of delayed. If you jump on the edge or you trigger the air walk too fast, it messes with the loading once we get over to the air walk on the other side of this. So just make sure that you don't forget to do that. You can always just reload the checkpoint if you mess it up. And just turn around and run through the wall uh, across this area here. And you will come out and see the long hallway walk on the corner of the hallway and line yourself up with these clouds. These are the ones that I use and you want to try to keep her in the middle of all of this. And of course the camera is locked but we can reset that with the camera snap button which is R3 by default on the controller and you will jump the camera to her. But you do not want to do that right away or keep up with her because there's a lot of things that load in between here. And if you do that, you'll be triggering other cutscenes and she'll get stuck in different walls and parts of the map. So staying here and letting her get super tiny, you can count it out yourself. You'll get used to it um, before snapping the camera to her is what you're going to need to do. And you can tell when she's getting really close to the end of the level because the glow on her will become orange. And once you get there, you, I like to make sure the camera is angled perpendicular 
with the final hallway just so I can get better visuals and you want to go up to the top and once you see her start doing the walking down animation you want to walk her down parallel with the hallway and once she stops descending just turn around and walk straight back into the hallway near the end and she'll start doing a very slow walk and the cutscene will trigger. And that is the end of the episode.